Well, hi, all my LGBT friends and others. Um, first of all, I just want to say, you know, you got to love a guy like Trump who stays truthful, stays on message, reinvents himself. I mean, the guy's never, he's never been in politics, okay? Uh, at 70, he is, do you realize? At 70, okay, he has reinvented himself. He has, he said he's going to pick the people to be around him uh, that will, you know, his children have said the same thing, that he picks the right people uh, to be around him and to uh, help him to stay, uh, uh, to fulfill his vision, you know, for America. Um, and and he's proven it time and time again, just even by his own campaign here, you know, pick, picking the guy from Breitbart um, to run his campaign and, and so forth. And, uh, you know, I, how can you not lo love this guy? He's, he's truthful, truthful to himself. You know, he, he, he speaks plainly, uh, and I like that, okay? I, I like somebody that, you know, doesn't try to be all flowery with their words and everything and try to be something that they're not, you know? I want to, you know, anyway, that's just my opinion. Um, I, I like the guy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not apologizing, but I do. I like him. And uh, so, anyway... Um, Hillary is in, 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 in deep bandini. She's really ill, okay? And I know I've said this before, but uh, I don't know that, you know, I mean, uh, Alex Jones came out saying that she has Parkinson's-like disease, and now some other websites are coming out with the same thing. Um, I don't know. I, I do know that she's very ill, so much so that, you know, that she has to have a, a bodyguard with her, uh, she's had to uh, put in a ton of money to upgrade her vehicles to accommodate her. Um, you saw Joe Biden next to her, grabbing her hand. You know, there's all, everybody who's around her knows that she needs special attention. And if you use a strobe light or flashlight or whatever, that's why she can't have press conferences uh, because she will go into some kind of, you know, bobblehead type of a thing. Sorry, I don't. I don't wish anybody ill, but I just think it's, you know, sometimes you, you know, you, you sow what what you reap, okay, and um, so uh, that's between her and the Lord, and I'm not here to judge, but and I don't wish anybody any ill because it's not funny, I, you know, it's, but oh well, um, so. Uh, so that's my, my thoughts for the day. I'd like to get started on numbers here um, and get going with the with this book. This is the fourth book of Moses. <clears throat> and uh, so it starts off chapter one. Uh, the men of the war numbered the Levites exempted for the tabernacle service. Okay, so... Um, now the Lord is speaking to uh, Moses, okay? And the Lord spoke unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tabernacle of the congregation, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, after their families, by the house of their fathers, with the number of of their names, every male by their poles, kind of like a census, okay, and um, from 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies, so these pick, picking warriors, and with you there shall be a man of every tribe, every one head of the house of his fathers. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you. Of the tribe of Reuben, Elazur, the son of she, she oh boy, Shedazur, of Simeon, uh, Samuel, and the son of Zerisha Dai, of Judah, Nashon, the son of Amadab, of Ishar, 
Nathaniel the son of Zuar, of Zebulon, Elabab, the son of Helon, the children of Joseph, of Ephraim, Elamesha, no, sorry, Ella, no, El Esh Amma, the son of Amaad, Amnaseth, Galamel El, the son of Pizdazor, of Benjamin, Abadan, the son of Gideonai, of Dan, Ahiazar, the son of Amashadai, of Asher, Pagael, the son of Akrand, of Gad, Elisaph, the son of Del El, of Natal Naphtali, ha Ahara, the son of Enon. Uh, these were the renown of the congregation, princes of the tribe of their fathers, heads of thousands in Israel. And I bet you, if you find out what the names meant, there is a hidden message in that, I bet. If anybody finds out, let me know. <laughs> okay, 17. And Moses and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names, and they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. And the Lord commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. Well, hence the name of the book. Okay. <clears throat> and the children of Reuben, Israel's eldest son, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, by their poles, every male from 20 years old and upward, that were able to go forth to war. So he's making warriors. Okay. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Reuben, were 40 and 6,500. Wow. Okay. Of the children of Simeon, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, those that were numbered of them, according to the number of the names, by their poles, every male from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Simeon, were 50 and 9,300. Wow. Of the children of Gad, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the numbers of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Gad, were 40 and 5,650. Of the children of Judah, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the numbers of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Judah, were threescore and 14,600. Of the children of Ishar, by the generations after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. And those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Ishkar, were 50 and 4,400. Of the children of Zebulon uh, and their generations after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Zebulon, were 50 and 7,400. Of the children of Joseph, namely of the children of Ephraim, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Ephraim, were 40,000 and 
500. Of the children of Manasseh and their generations, after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from the 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Manasseh, were 30 and 2,200. And the children of Benjamin, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Benjamin, were thirty and five thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Dan, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the numbers of name, names from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. And those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Dan, were threescore and two thousand and seven hundred. Of the children of Asher, by the generations after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even the tribe of Asher, were forty and one thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Naphtali, throughout their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Natali, were fifty and three thousand four hundred. There's a lot of people after two years being in the desert. That that's a lot of. <laughs> you know, you gotta like add up how many people are are these, okay? And it doesn't just say men. It just says 20 years old. Does it say men? Yeah, these are the names of the men that shall stand with you. Okay, I guess they're just men. I don't know. Okay. Um, all right, so verse 43. Those that were numbered with them, even the tribe of Natali, were 50 and 3,400. Wow. Okay, these are those that were numbered which Moses and Aaron numbered, and the princes of Israel being twelve men, each one was for the house of his fathers. So all those that were numbered of the children of Israel by the house of their fathers were twenty years old and upward. They were able to go forth to war in Israel. And all that were numbered were six hundred thousand three... Oh, good. Okay, so the, all that were numbered were six hundred thousand... And 3,550. That's a lot of people. Okay. And the Levites after the tribe of the fathers were not numbered among them. Okay. So there's even more. All right. For the Lord had spoken unto Moses, saying, Only thou shalt not number the tribe of Levi, neither take the sum of them among the children of Israel. But thou shalt appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of testimony and over all the vestals thereof and over all the things that belong to it they shall bear the tabernacle and all the vessels thereof and they shall minister unto it and shall encamp around about the tabernacle and when the tabernacle setteth forward the levites shall take it down and when the tabernacle is to be pitched the levites shall set it up and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death the children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man by his own camp, and every man by his own standard throughout their host. But the Levites shall pitch around the tabernacle of the testimony, and there shall be no wrath upon the congregation of the children of Israel. And the Levites shall keep the charge of the tabernacle of the testimony. And the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so did they. Okay, so... You know, the Levites are considered the priest, and I believe that Stephen Ben Danun is a Levite. So I think that's kind of cool. Anyway, why is God setting up, a, you know, soldiers, warriors? Because he's got to go into the land and destroy the bad DNA that were uh, upon the land and clear it out. And he, and he tells them to kill every man and woman and child. All right, so that's coming. 
Anyway, enjoy. <laughs>